One of the probably most requested cocktails I get all the time and people ask me to do is sangria. So I'm gonna show you actually a very quick way to do a nice infusion without having to wait a couple of days for it to really just get into that flavor. So all you're gonna need is like this little nitrogen siphons that we're gonna use right here. So we're gonna start with our red wine. So I'm gonna take one bottle and put it into my siphon. There you go, it's all in. And to that, we're gonna add a bunch of our aromatics here. So a little bit of my cinnamon bark here. I'm just gonna put a couple of them in there. And then I have some star anise as well. So I'm gonna put a couple of that in there as well. And then finally, if I had some cloves, I'd put cloves, but I don't have cloves. So what I'm gonna add is just a little bit of clove powder and then we're just gonna make sure to mesh strain it so that nothing goes in there. So what's gonna happen here is that there's no more oxygen, so basically all that flavor is gonna interact even more vividly than it would naturally, so that basically the ingredients that we put in will transfer all their flavors to the wine. So we're gonna twist that on, and then I'm gonna use nitrogen here. Um, so two charges of nitrogen. So that's one charge that goes in. I'm gonna shake it. Release it. And then I'm gonna put a second charge in as well. So this really just reinforces the whole flavor. That's good as well. Now what we want to do is kind of just release everything inside. So the infusion is basically happening right now. So we want to take all the air out. Sounds like a bong. When you can't press out the air anymore, it doesn't make a sound, you know it's safe to open. I'm just gonna twist that off, and now I'm gonna take my little mixing compartment here, and then just strain that. And then we don't need these barks anymore or anything like that, so it's really just all in there already. And now we're gonna add the different flavors that make sangria sangria. Uh, so I'm gonna start with my lemons. I usually like to use two lemons. This will just balance slightly with the sweetness that we're gonna add later. And all that acidity is gonna go perfectly with the alcohol and the wine. And then to that, we're gonna add a little bit of Cointreau, which is an orange liqueur. Um, and I'm gonna only use half a cup of this. But before that, we're gonna put one whole cup of either dry or cream sherry. Half a cup of Cointreau. Finally, we need about half a cup of orange juice. It's about two oranges as well. Once all that is in, we're just gonna give it a mix. And this is where we add a little bit of sweetness. I usually add a little bit of honey, so about three tablespoons goes in and then maybe just one third of a cup of sugar. And again, this really depends on you and your taste buds. So I usually put a third of a cup, mix it, and I'll just naturally dilute with the liquid, kind of like when you're making a simple syrup, so it's very easy to make. You can kind of just forget about it for a couple of hours. Um, I actually think sangria is best done the night before. All those flavors kind of just get together. So you can leave it in a bottle and then serve it the next day. I think we're pretty much there. So when you serve sangria, it's always, a lot of people say you need to put a different um, kinds of fruits in it and everything. The problem is when you do that, it just takes out so much of the flavor that is in the alcohol itself. So I usually like to dress it with just some lemon peels and maybe just a little bit of watermelon because it actually absorbs some of the wine. So to serve this, just a nice lemon peel. mostly just to get some of the oils in there. So per glass, you can just add a couple of lemon peels. Then we're gonna add some of our watermelon here. So I'm gonna try as much as possible to get something without the seeds. So a bunch of those goes in there. And then finally, some of the sangria, obviously. 
and you want to serve that as cold as possible. I usually don't like adding ice because once you add ice, it dilutes the drink more than it's supposed to be. And the way we made it here with a little bit of infusion is actually perfect and where we want it to be. So if you add ice, it's not going to be great. So make sure if you're making this ahead, keep the bottle in the fridge or keep all your ingredients in the fridge so it's nice and ice cold. Let's give it a taste. Perfect. It's exactly where I want it to be. Now, if you have any other requests for cocktail videos, please let me know. I can make a bunch of them. You want to make punches, you want to make sours, you want to make any type of craft cocktails, let me know and we can make videos of it. If you did like that, please make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Again, that's youtube.com slash the fat kid inside. And I'm completely out of breath. Thanks for watching. See you guys again next week.